guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be reviewing today the new Colourpop Stone Cold Fox eyeshadow palette and also the little brush set that came. These it came in PR recently. Thank you so much Colourpop for sending these over. This video isn't sponsored in any way, shape or form. No obligation to post. Just want to put that out there. Yeah. I have two to three looks for you. I did actually use this palette to create the Ariana Grande position inspired makeup look. So, um, I'm just going to show you inside the palette. I'm not going to be doing any swatches or anything like that just because it's just not really my jam. Plus there is too many shadows that can fit on my arm to be honest. So yeah, this is the beauty. Now when I first saw this, I'm not going to lie to you, I was like, what? I was like, Yee. this ain't going to be for me, but it is for me definitely is for me um i think it's such an underrated palette personally i know it's new but i feel as if it's going to be an underrated palette like of course i love their monochrome palettes massive fan of those massive fan of colourpop palettes in general but there's something about this that originally I'm, i feel like i'm looking at a morphe palette number one but number two i just something about it screams to me and it's well put together i'm going to show you the two looks in just a second i did one sort of like really out there look you probably see them already if you're on my instagram if you're not i'd love if you could check that out but I did one this look as well with the palette, which has been on for hours. These shimmers. I didn't spritz my brush and I didn't use a packet brush. I used a blending, buffing, fluffy brush. I'm amazed, man. I'm amazed. Sorry if you can tell that my lipstick's rubbed off. It's currently 8 o'clock at night. We're filming this intro. But yeah, um, have I got any complaints? No. Is the palette lovely? Yes. It's not like crazy pigmented. Like depending on the shade that you pick out, you're going to get different intensities. Now, personally, I find that these bottom shades are lovely. They're lovely. These ones are really, really nice. The matte shades. Shimmers are very, very powerful. My personal opinion, I didn't have any trouble with any of the shimmers. I did use quite a few shimmers so I can give you a sort of verdict on those. The mattes, like these mattes, they're okay. They're not amazing. They are more transitional, but they do add like a slight tint of colour. Um, especially if you're just doing an everyday like if you just want an everyday look this is a great one if you want to just have an everyday little like eyeshadow palette book thing what book what um palette thing um just has everything in it and what i really love about this i don't know what it is about this palette but the shade dreamful this um shade right here it's like a white but it's got these sparks in it is a beautiful inner corner it is not a highlight so if you don't like that shimmer and you just want that sort of brightening effect it's stunning yeah i have got no complaints really this shade rock bottom here is a great little like off black i can't know how to explain it it's not like a black but it's sort of like just as it says is it it is as dark as a black but it's not a black but it could be a black is it a black and i but what also is something that a lot of you guys are going to probably going to say to me hannah like this isn't your sort of jam no it's not if you know my sort of eyeshadow looks you know this is not my jam at all but I like, I am starting to like cool tones. I didn't think cool tones were going to suit me. I didn't. I'm just going to put my hands out there. I didn't think the cool tones were going to suit me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the two looks and then come back to you with my final looks. Okay, so of course taking the palette, I'm just going to show you the shades on the camera. I'm just going to start with this in the outer corner and sort of just build a little bit of depth. I don't want to go too, too harsh because I do want the focus of this eye look to be with the shimmer. As I said, I'm going to take a little bit of like a depth and then I'm going to apply the shimmer with a fluffy brush. This was so easy to whack on and apply. Take this right up to the brow bone, add a little bit more depth for the lashes so that there's not a lash, so you can't really see the lash band. Um, apply some lashes and then obviously use that beautiful inner corner highlight and we are done for the first look before we move on to the second one which is a little bit more out there so taking the second look i'm going to go in with these shades as i show you and sort of like carve out your typical double cut crease then going with these sort of like cool tone browns they sort of look warm but they're actually really cool tone and then obviously um deepen up with the darker colors and then going with that black as well cutting the crease this i absolutely love doing and then i'm applying that gray shade just throughout the crease as well just so you can leave a little bit of negative space and a little bit of shimmer like we did going with the norvina cake liners this white line i wanted that negative space and plus that white liner to add a little bit of edge to the look add some lashes add it in the corner highlight and then we are done with the second look these looks are super easy to do and i have pictorials on my instagram so you've seen the two looks so am i overall impressed with this palette yes um i know i'm going to talk about the brushes in a second because i am amazed with them but a palette would I recommend 100% um I know I seem really laid back right now what was that that was the chair um I seem really laid back right now I am I'm just tired like you know when you're just tired and you're just let's get it out there but yeah I've got no complaints really I'm quite shocked really I didn't think I was gonna like I thought this was gonna be a palette where I'd be like yeah another friend of mine would probably like it more no no this is this is for me 
this is for me this is a great one um definitely one that i think if i was to remember someone asked me han like what color pop i call it whoa what color pop eyeshadow palette sorry if you can hear the fireworks does does no one realize that covid's going on right now and you're doing fireworks um but yeah if someone wants to go hand like what's your favorite color pop um eyeshadow palette not favorite but what's one that you remember hey this one this one's a great one if you're into cool tones and if you're not even into your cool tones this is a great transitional palette if you're going from your you prefer your warm tones to your cool tones definitely see myself rocking this more definitely see myself using this more um i've used this three times already must say i am impressed Pay pigmentation there there's not much fallout shimmers have a slight bit of fallout but i think that's because of the brush i use not the actual product itself have no complaints lovely you can build up real depth with this as well just a little bit of me really like a really really nice palette this is something i definitely use with my clients but i don't want to talk too much anyway because i tend to talk a lot and yeah but moving on let's see if this let's see if this will work it did um it didn't so this here is the i don't know what this name of it is i know it looks absolutely filthy but i've been using it and because that's my job um this is the color pop brush set i don't know what this is actually called everything will be linked in the description and um, so we have here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen i believe unless i've counted wrong 15 brushes that come in this cute little brush belt it doesn't have a other side piece so like if you wanted to wear it as a makeup artist i wouldn't suggest because obviously yeah but i majority of the time use the eyeshadow brushes i did use a few face brushes i actually haven't used any color pop face brushes before i think maybe one highlighter brush but I can say these brushes right here, so the brush like the F33, I'm guessing these are like the brushes that they usually have, but they just like remodel them. Packaging, like the sturdiness seems great, very high quality. But to be honest, they seem a bit more sturdier than the Morphe ones, and they seem a little bit more luxurious. Don't know about pricing for either of them, so I do apologise if I haven't put any pricing, but it will all be in the description. Eyeshadow brushes, people. They hit the nail on the head here. Like this one brush I'm going to recommend to you guys. And I just think you should all get it. Even if you just want to purchase one thing from Colourpop. And I know the order is going to come super small. But I don't care. The E29 brush. If you like to smoke out any part of your look. Like if you want to add it a little bit of like smokiness. Like I don't know if you guys can see. But I smoke. It's probably going to look really horrible. But I smoked out the bottom um, of my lash line. And this is just a gorgeous brush. Like it really is like such a great brush that I think everyone needs in their makeup routine. This would be great to carve the crease. This would be great for inner corner highlight. This would be great to pack on shimmer. It's a multi-purpose brush that I highly recommend. Um, are all the brushes worth it? Yeah, I've not used all of them, but they seem of phenomenal quality. Absolutely no complaints. You'll see me use them in the looks that I have like obviously, you know. Sometimes I find with brush sets that like I, I get a little bit annoyed because I don't end up I don't end up using every single brush. But I can see myself using every single brush except from probably no I, I could literally see myself using every single one of these brushes and I don't even usually buy brush sets because they're just never they never cater to for what or like every brush I use I tend to get a brush set and there's like six out of like 15 brushes that I just won't touch and I'm like well have I wasted my money probably not with this one though this one's like it's hit the nail on the head and I think the quality is just impeccable um so yeah i haven't really got any like much more to say personally i'm just getting ready to like wind down for the day and you know i need a cup i need a cup of tea i just need i've been drinking tea all day but i really need a cup of tea um but yeah i really really hope to do this video sorry that it hasn't been that well put together there never is with me is it really when you think about it like when you actually deep like what my content is yeah i guess you see what i mean i'm doing it again but yeah thank you so much for watching i really, really appreciate it let me know if you have any questions in the description bar uh description bar comment section please follow my instagram which would be great also my tiktok i'm doing more tiktoks these days trying to focus on just out doing like you know getting out there into the world and yeah i thank you so much for watching once again please share with your friends and family like comment you know subscribe do the whole typical youtuber stuff but yeah thank you so much for watching